Hey guys, this is Tom with DraftMagic.com, and I'm back here for more standard play. Um, I had a, a look in trying to sort of revamp the Law, Law Armor deck here, and made a couple changes. Um, one of the cards which really was not impressing me was Knight of Glory. The As the metagame has shifted, um, aggro has kind of turned more to red deck wins, and um, a lot of the other decks you know, such as the Bant Control matchup or Red White Blue Miracles um, or Reanimator, um, none of really use aggressive black creatures. The Zombies um, decks that I've been seeing have just been diminishing more and more and more, becoming less and less of the, uh, the metagame. And so, kind of with that change, it allows us to cut Knight of Glory. Um, gonna try it out here and make room for some more cards. So one of the um, things that I've been trying to search for is a really good creature to add to the deck because with only eight creatures, you know, we can definitely just stall out and not um, pick up a creature. But I think the real answer here is clone. And the reason is, is that almost every single deck that's serious in the format right now is running Thrag Tusk. Um, or if it's not running Thrag Tusk, is running Geist of St. Traft. Um, other major, very powerful creatures, and you know, copying uh, Angel of Serenity, for instance, or being able to copy their Geist to make room for our own Geists, really, I think, is going to be the next step. So, adding that change, I ended up um, adding the fourth Pacifism effect to your main deck, just because um, I did want a little bit more against aggro. And I made some changes here to the board also. I kind of took away the dissipates I'd been running. The extra blue mana and the extra, um, the third mana has just been so clunky. And getting rid of their graveyard is kind of redundant with what we're already doing with Rest in Peace. Um, also, in a lot of matchups, I found myself bringing in three and not four Rest in Pieces. Um, just, you know, to kind of make room for everything and. Um, once again to eliminate redundancy. So um, what I did there, cut the, th the fourth rest in peace, took out the dissipates, replace them with negate. And I think in this deck, um, even if they can cast a spell again from their graveyard the next turn, often that one turn is all you need to win. So the other kind of elephant in the room here is the Righteous Authority. And this is a card that I'm just completely testing out here. I have no idea if it's good or bad, but trying to kind of make my control matchup better. So it really only comes in against like Bant Control, um, Blue White Red Miracles, you know, really more control heavy decks um, just to get the extra cards. And um, I suppose I could potentially see it bring in against like Green White, but it seems kind of slow. So. Testing it out, one other card that I looked at, which I think could be very good, and I'm not sure which is really going to be better here in this last slot, um, is Curse of Echoes. And Curse of Echoes not only A is an um, enchantment, so it really kind of helps build the theme, but also, you know, if they end up miracling, um, you know, for angels, or if they, you know, end up doing sphinxes. Um, Revelation, you know, for a bunch. I mean, you can just copy it. You know, you automatically counter their counters. Um, so it's it's pretty cool. You know, I've I saw one list that was running it. And I kind of thought, huh, wasn't really sure, but I can really see the place that it might play. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be running Curse of Echoes in that slot, maybe Righteous Authority, and I might just cut both of them in favor of like Jace Memory Adept to kind of attack them from a different angle. So I'm not really sure. Um, but I'm going to try out Rich's Authority, kind of see how it plays out, and very excited with some of the changes. The other important change that I made here, um, smoothing out the mana a bit, I added three Cavern of Souls just because a lot of the blue decks have just gone completely full bore with counter spells, running uh, Rewind, Syncopate, Dissipate, Essence Scatter, I mean, just, just going bonkers with counter spells. You know, with that uh, kind of being said, being able to turn off some of those shenanigans with Cavern of Souls I think is pretty important, even if we only play a couple creatures. And I think we definitely have the mana to do so. I added in the 
um, one Evolving Wilds to kind of be like the fifth guild gate in a way to smooth it out a little bit more. I don't want too many because I, I do want to be able to have three mana up and ready to go on turn three for Geist, but we don't really have any turn one plays, so there's really kind of no downside for playing Guildgate turn one. I mean, I guess if they're very aggressive, we have sensory deprivation, but it, I mean, it's, it's not at all a big deal. So we're going to see how it goes, and we will see you for a two-man queue here in just a moment. All right, we are going to be on the play. Very happy with this opening. So basically going for the turn three Geist and then just sensory deprivation, whatever they have. Like that. Gonna lead out with Geist, and hopefully we can use um, Curiosity to push it through. Especially if he doesn't have a creature this turn. Blood Artist is not gonna do it. Here comes Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, no doubt. Yep, there it is. So the nice thing here is having Azorius Charm gives us uh, some extra game, being able to bounce that thing or being able to uh, gain some life here. So I think, you know, we're, I mean, we're not, we're still high on life. I don't think we need to use it just yet. But I think we're going to go ahead, bash in, and then <laughs> see what we draw from our curiosity here. Bounce of Faith is pretty good, not going to lie. So I guess he's just going to try to burn us out here with uh, Blood Artist. And he's doing a fair job of it, to be honest. Ugh, yuck. So here's what's going to happen. He's going to sack the messenger, use that to block Geist. So if we bash him, um, he takes six, but he's going to have just so much burn potential next turn.
All right, we're in a pretty rough spot here, not going to lie. I think the play here is going to do, let's see, 5, 7. If he replays it, that's 9, 11, 12. Yeah, we're dead. Um, so I think we need to do Azorius Charm for life gain, which will allow him to kill our Geist. Oh, yuck. This is just so awkward. So basically we need to draw very, very well. I think that's got to be the play. So now he replays Messenger. Yep. So now we need to gain life back. So now he can basically drain us for one, two, three, four, five. And then attack with messenger. Let's see, so if we don't block here, he can still drain us for one, two, three, four, go to nine. Take seven, doesn't quite die. I think we actually do need to block here. What, what can we draw? So if we draw like spectral flight, we went on the spot. Um, four, eight, yeah. We do anyways. If we draw like, let's see what can I support? Well, if we could draw bonds of faith or armor, it's still gonna be four, seven, nine. I think. Let's see. So if we that gives us essentially. 11 outs, but he can certainly kill us next turn if we don't. If we don't take it, we go to 11, next turn he can hit us down to 2, 3, 4, 5. He can't quite kill us, but if he has any kind of burn, so like a 1 in 4 chance of just winning next turn. I 
think we go for it. Fortunately, it was not it. Um, that is really unfortunate. So now we can force his hand. Uh, let's see. So if we bash in. If with these three. Eight damage. So he blocks here, I guess. Six is still lethal. He needs to keep the Blood Artist around, so. Eight damage, he sacks. One, two, three. Goes to one. No. I think we just swing at these three. Because otherwise we're attacking for basically seven. Well, let's see. So we force it for seven. Pass to block Geist. And he has to, I think, sack everything. He can keep Messenger up. Sack everything else. Going to eight. Yeah, so we need to attack with everything but one. Now he has to break the chain and sack one of the other ones. I guess he's got enough burn in hand. Yeah, I think we had to go for it there. Oh, I guess he didn't. Alright, so up against Red Black. Definitely bring in Nevermore for Aristocrat. Same with Attention Sphere. Pacifism Bonds of Faith. Charm. Rest in Peace. Cutting Curiosity. Clone is all well and cute, but a little slow. I mean, Clone's definitely not bad, but I think we just want to run it like this. Um, what else are we cutting here? I think probably Spectral Flight. kind of run it like that. Alright, so here we are. Hand looks pretty good. Um, let's see, we got some good action. So now I think we just go ahead and, let's see, I think we get our Stalker online. We're going to take a little bit of damage here, 
but we do have the Azurius charm back up. Okay, so now I think we just sensory deprivation, the diagraph ghoul, and bonds of faith, the other guy. Because we don't want this guy to be able to block. So now, I think we just go ahead and detention sphere the messengers. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of damage here, but it's better, I think, than racing just yet. Otherwise, we could drop Geist. We drop Geist, we take five next turn. Hmm. Let's think about this. We can use Charm to kind of get back into it. We take five, drop to seven. Otherwise, we drop to ten and get rid of Messenger, but don't have any more pressure. I think we do actually need to drop Geist here. Just kind of get something going. We could also just... Chump Messenger with Stalker. I'm actually more or less okay with that. Just to save the damage, because damage is going to be pretty tight. I think we actually just chump. He's going to gain a little bit more, but we won't lose quite as much. So now, can detention sphere. Bastion of Geist. And I'm still a little bit leery of using Charm just yet. Although it's definitely getting pretty close here. If he does run the blocks, let's see, we drop to 8, 7, 6. Yeah, I think we actually, just because he could get there, I think we need to get the life back up a little bit here, just to be safe. get out of kill range, basically. Now we're happy to trade Geist and replace Geist.
messenger is pretty rough around the edges. So going to need a little bit more action here. Um, we're kind of dangerous in little life, but... Okay, it's pretty rough. So now I think we just uh, start racing. We bash in and jump with Stalker. And just hope to get there. And if he has the volley, that's all she wrote. But we will see shortly. So, uh, it's, okay, so, looking a little grim here. Still bashing in. So pretty much just playing top decks now. And here's an interesting question. So if he has anything, he just gets us. But I guess he just conceded. What I was going to say was we could just not block and then bash in for the kill for sure, which I think is the play. But anyways, yeah, so that's the match. Um, really happy with the deck here. Loving Clone in some of the other matchups that I did. Um, but I, I really i am very happy with the move to three Clone main deck. Still have no idea if this card is any good or just garbage. But anyways, we will see you next time. And thanks for watching, guys.